guys, Aaron Phillips here from Life Survival down in Central Florida. I've recently teamed up with Survival Dispatch up in Gainesville, bringing you all kinds of great stuff. Right now I'm focusing on some gear reviews and talking about our favorite products. Now, this is a little bit different. This is kind of a PSA type thing, coming from a guide who spends a lot of time outdoors and who grew up in Florida as a third generation native. I spend a lot of time in the heat. The three biggest complaints that I get or excuses that I get from folks telling me why they don't spend more time outdoors is it's hot, there's bugs, and what about the alligators and bears and snakes? Okay, educate yourself about the bears, snakes, and gators. Your fear will go down as your respect goes up. As far as bugs go, welcome to the sand pit peninsula that we call Florida, Flip Flop Nation. Use some bug spray, that's how that works. Um, and then the hot part. There's a reason that people move to Florida. There's a reason that we farm year round here. There's a reason that this is where the Spanish landed first. It's beautiful, but it's freaking hot. The sun is out all the time. It's not like a desert. We got high humidity. It's a different animal here. It's subtropical. One of the biggest things I tell people is to help you battle the heat. Number one, of course, stay hydrated. Take plenty of water with you. Wear long sleeve shirts like you see me having here. A lot of times when I'm on the river, I'm rolling these sleeves all the way down. And the biggest thing aside from sunblock is make sure you have a shady hat. Now I know this seems kind of crazy. In fact, just a few years ago, people were giving me a hard time like, dude, that hat's huge. I know it's huge. It's supposed to be huge. The thing is, make sure you also have a little chin strap. We live on a peninsula. There's a lot of wind going back and forth. This hat is supposed to be big. It's meant to cover out over my shoulders. It keeps my face protected, my ears, the back of my neck, my forehead, my scalp, keeps everything shaded. That's why I wear a straw hat, a big hat. This is my river hat. I get my hats from a company called Sunshine State Goods. A good friend of mine started this company a few years back. You gotta go check her out on Instagram, Sunshine State Goods. Check it out. They've got all kinds of flip uh, tank tops, flip flops, t-shirts, the Florida lifestyle type clothes that you would wear to the beach or out on the river. Let me switch back up here real quick. These straw hats are very affordable. In Florida, and I don't know about in other parts of the country, let me turn this back around, these style hats you can buy for 10 bucks in 7-Eleven. They are dirt cheap. They're made from straw, they're imported. There's not much to them at all. Uh, so you'll find some that are a little better woven. The, the straw's thicker, the grasses they use are thicker. You might see heavier stitching or like a band around the side, possibly a band around the top here. Some of them will have major surf logos or something on them as well. For the most part, it's just a straw hat and that's all you need. You need something that's breathable, lets air come in and out. That way when you're sweating, it's not holding that moisture in against your head. It's letting it get out. That's how we cool our body. Um, I believe it's called transpiration. Don't quote me on that. It's been a few years since I was in uh, bio two class, but I go with these lightweight straw hats. If something happens to it, I'm out 10 bucks, 20 bucks maybe. And I've, I, this one I've been using all season long. So about five and a half, six months now, our seasons are long in Florida. Keep in mind, it's sunny year round. It's even hot in the winter half the time. So this hat has taken some serious abuse this, this season on the river. It goes with me all the time. It's been soaking wet, it's dried out, sun baked, it's still kicking. It's a little warped, but it still does its job. When you're combating the Florida heat and the sun, one of the best things you can do is protect yourself with a shady hat. Check out Sunshine State Goods on Instagram. Their website is really cool and they're always running out, uh, launching and running out new, new clothes on their line. Um, but the, the, the hats stay the same. Affordable, lightweight, the way to go. Check them out.